Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi I'm Madeline and I'm so happy that you're here today. For today's video, I'm going to be doing part 4 which is the final part of my makeup collection. If you haven't seen the other videos, I'm going to have them linked down below. Without further ado, we are going to get on into the video. My final part is going to be my makeup brushes, mascara, eyeliner, and lashes. I'm going to go ahead and start with my brushes. I keep um, my everyday brushes are in this right here, and then I keep some other ones up here. So we're going to go through these first. This first one is a Beauty Concepts Contour Brush. I used this a long time ago. It's just shaped like this. I don't know if you can see. I used to use this brush all the time when I first started doing like contour and bronzing and stuff. Next, I'm going to show you these brushes that came in a set at TJ Maxx. The brand is Kala. I don't know if it's Cal Cosmetics. You can find these at TJ Maxx. This first one, none of them have like names. This first one is just shaped like this. It has kind of like a flatter top. This is a foundation brush. I cannot stand foundation brushes. I don't know why. They just don't work for me. So I really don't use this. But this collection is so pretty as you can tell. So I just keep it. This is a flat eyeshadow brush. And this is an angled brush. I don't really use these brushes, but they're just so pretty that I feel like I have to keep them, so that's why they're still in my collection. This next one is a Elizabeth Mott Tapered Blending Brush. I do still like this brush, I just prefer to use my Morphe Jaclyn Hill brushes on like a daily basis, but this is a good brush. I got this in an Ipsy. This next one is a... I can't read what the brand is. It has an Ipsy logo on the side, so I think it was like a collab with Ipsy. It's a T35 Precise Blending. This is the brand. I'm not sure if you guys can even read it. This brush is so dirty. It just looks like this. This next one is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH07 brush. I love the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush set. It's so, so good. The rest of the brushes that are in this area are all Emacs Design brushes. This first one is just an angled brush. I use this for eyeliner, actually. I don't know if you can tell, but it has blue eyeshadow on it. Um, sometimes I like to use blue eyeliner on my waterline and eyeshadow stays so much better than eyeliner. So that's what I use this brush for. This is just an angled, a fluffier eyeshadow brush. This is a flat eyeshadow brush. If you can't tell, I played around in my James Charles palette with these brushes. That's why they're all pink. I just have one of these brushes that has the comb on one side and the brush on the other. This is just a super fluffy big blending brush and this like rose gold canister i have i got this in a fab fit fun by the way i keep my everyday brushes and then some eyeliners in here but i'm gonna go through the brushes first so the first brush is another one of these cala like mermaid unicorn brushes whatever you want to call it it is just a big fluffy powder brush i use this every day for my powder. This next brush is the one I use for bronzing. It is a Farah Contour 218M brush. It just looks like this. This is one of my favorite brushes. They are extremely dirty. I probably should have cleaned them before this video, but it is what it is. Next, I have two e.l.f. brushes. This first one is a professional concealer brush, and then this next one is a professional eyelash and brow wand. They just look like this. They're so dirty. I'm so sorry that I did not clean them. This next one is a Farah 35E brush. I like to use this for blending my eyeshadows. It's really good. This is such a good brush. I absolutely love this one. The rest of my brushes are Morphe. This is just a regular Morphe, and then it is Morphe Jaclyn Hill after this. This is a Morphe M165 brush. It is just an angled brush that I use for my eyebrows. This next brush is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH03 brush just looks like this. This is a JH06 brush. This is my favorite blush brush that I've ever had. This is a JH02 brush. It is just a huge fluffy brush. I love this. And then this is a JH09 brush. This is such a good highlighting brush. This is a JH40 brush. This is a JH39. This is a JH32. This is a JH33. This is a JH41. This is a JH43. This is a JH42. 
and this is a JH30. And I also have these tweezers in my brush cup canister thing. I'm going to show you this Beauty Concepts Blank Slate Brush Color Swap Pad. I get these at TJ Maxx. They're just like a black sponge and you can rub your brushes in it and it cleans them in between colors. Next, I'm going to show you the three brow products that I own. This first one is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I'm just in the shade Blonde. Then I have an Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. This is in medium brown because I used this for a wedding. And then this is the Revlon Brow Creator. I believe this is in the shade Blonde too. Yep. And I have this as Aesthetica Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. I have three of the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliners. These are all three in the shade Black. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner. Then I have this Tarte sex kitten eyeliner the top of this eyeliner has a cat head on it and i just think that it is so stinking cute i have this color pop eyeliner and it's just a black one as well this is from ciate london this is the wonderland wonderland wonder wand gel liner it's just a black one this is a smashbox gel liner also in black this is the locket waterproof pencil eyeliner also in black this is just a black mac pencil liner and then this is a blue maybelline eyeliner i love to use blue eyeliner because i feel like it just really makes blue eyes pop and then this is a mac blue eyeliner this is more of a navy blue this is a brown mac eyeliner this is a Rimmel London pencil eyeliner in the shade Nude. This one is by the brand Essence and it is also a nude eyeliner. Then I just have the e.l.f. Um, Clear Brow and Lash Gel. The CoverGirl Lash Blast Primer. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is the e.l.f. Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara. I have three of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascaras. This is just what it looks like. This is my all-time favorite mascara. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This is by Wander Beauty. This is the Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. And this is also by Too Faced, I believe. This is the Dana Girl Mascara. This one is so, so dirty because it's super old. And then I just have the Ardell Lash Grip Lash Glue. Then two, um, like, lash serums. This is Babe Lash and this is by It Works. And then I do have this eyelash curler. I do not curl my eyelashes because it just doesn't work for me. They go poker straight within a minute. This is another set of tweezers. That's for eyelashes and I never used tweezers until I got these ones. They are the best. Now we are on to lashes. This is the final section of today's video and my makeup collection. These are the Cream Shop Lashes. I don't really know what the name of them is. It just says bougie on the packaging and that definitely describes these lashes. They are stunning. These are Huda Beauty eyelashes. These are so beautiful. I have no idea what these ones are. They've been worn a lot as you can tell. I have two packs of Ardell Wispies. These are actually Demi Wispies but these are my favorite lashes of all time. These are Revive Lashes. I don't think I've ever used these. I don't really like natural lashes so i'm not sure why i have these these are long lash lashes i think these are by um paris hilton or something but i got these at tj maxx i don't think i've ever worn these either these are my favorites these are the lily lashes this is the name of the ones i have i don't know how to say it but these are the most beautiful eyelashes ever i love lily lashes these are the magnetic lashes that i get on amazon i cannot remember what they're called right now for the life of me because i don't have the packaging but i'm gonna put it on the screen right here and that is my entire makeup collection thank you all so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a video from me